Alrighty, it says it's recording. This is uh, only the second time on the new cam. So let's see, uh, red. Yep, yep, it says it's working. Hopefully it is. Trying to not have a glare on the glasses. So it's a little bit hard. Alright, so what have you guys been up to? I've been dealing with the so much fun snow. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. Well, a little bit. Yeah, there's a mess in my room here. Anyway, um... Yeah. Uh, should I had that done before I got on here. Anyway, I've been uh, working. I worked some extra hours last week, and um, it'll be nice on my pay, but, you know, I don't get very appreciated, and... It was at the house I don't want to work at anymore, so that even made it worse. Anyway, what are you going to do? Um, let's see, I was going to show you, I've been working on, well, let's see what I've made. I showed you the one sock I finished. I finished another sock. Um, here it is. I need to get more of this yarn because I love this one so I can make a, a matching one for it. Um, I don't have an issue with second sock syndrome. Um, I showed you that one. It's going to be taken apart and redone because it's a mess. Um, I made this one. Um, I got to tuck some yarn. And I made the second one of that. See, two. And I'm in the process of um, sewing the tote back, you know, together. And then I'll be able to wear these. These are fun. I messed up and I made my ribbing longer than I wanted to. Then I forgot I was done with ribbing and started doing it again. So this is the second sock. I, I actually did that on the first sock. Let's see, can you tell? Yeah. I started ribbing again for like two rows. So I just went ahead and did it on this one so they'd match. So yeah, I, I did that. I'm going to finish that tonight. I, um, I have, let's see, well, I have this sock yarn that I forgot I had, and I got it out to use, and I had it sitting over here beside my desk on a little, uh, tote, and Daisy apparently thought it was a stuffed animal, grabbed it and started doing that thing with her face, you know, where I put it in your mouth and shake it like that, and was running across the room, and I was like, get back here with that! Then I have a blue skein of that, let's see, up, up in there, of that same yarn. And then today, where is it? Oh crap, I forgot to bring it in here? Aw, I'll get it and come back and show you in a minute. But, um, did I forget it? Oh, shoot. I, don't want my I took apart the blue mitts and made them smaller because my niece wanted a pair and she didn't like the long, the length and found out that um, Deborah Norval yarn that I that I have that everyday worsted um, that I love, you can actually make two pair of fingerless mitts with that. And then I made, I don't know if I showed you guys these or not, they're not done either, I have to sew the thumbs up, but I made these. They're a little longer, but they're not as long as the ones that I originally made. So I've been I've been doing a bit of knitting, as you can see. Still not smoking, I have my um, vapor thing here. Um, See, it feels like you're smoking, but it's a water-based vapor. So that's all good. I got a new battery. This is a, a big battery that lasts me like a week. Um, I love it because it produces a little more vapor. Nothing like the guys at the store have, because they have these big drip things that they drip the liquid on, and it's like humonga cloud. Anyway, um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Uh, Sebastian's out there eating. He's not bothering me right now. 
because I came home and it was like 4.30 or 5. I don't feed my dogs that early because I'm, you know, usually working second shift and usually they get fed about 8.30 or 9 at night. And so then, you know, they don't want to get fed again until 8.30 or 9 in the morning or hopefully 9.30 or so. Um, so, you know, they're just so routine. I came home and he thought he should be fed. So he's been bugging me for, you know, an hour and a half. And uh, finally, I went out and looked to see if he needed food. He is so much like a cat sometimes. He can see the bottom of the bowl. Now, you know, they eat down into the middle, so there's like that pit in the bowl. And, you know, on the sides, there's still food. But if he, can't, if he can see the bottom, he won't eat it. So I always have to add more or shake it around and, you know, so it's all level. He's such a spoiled dog. Uh, anyway, let's see what else is new. Uh, snow. There's always new snow. It seems like this winter that's just like ongoing. Um, I tried my hand at making um, picks for uh, loom knitting. Um, this is a polymer clay over a wooden dowel with a number one um, knitting needle, double pointed knitting needle. I cut them in half. I drilled a hole down into the dowel. Here's a dowel. I sh should show you what I mean. I drilled a hole into... Okay, put it at the camera, Gail. That one's not centered. That's why I didn't make one out of it. I take a double-pointed needle, uh, number one or zero. I cut them in half. I bend the end. I glue it down in. And then I put my polymer... Or throw it on the floor. I put my polymer clay on it. And whatever kind of design I like or want to make. And... Um, and bake it and there we go so you know they're not like perfect like um, you can see there's kind of a bump there and you know once you roll I have a, a cookie cutter for the clay for the stars but you know once you roll them out then they you know they spread out a little so they're not like you know here's the one that looks kind of funky but hey you know that makes them unique right but they work I mean I tried I tried I think I made one that it wasn't bent um, at the right point. It was too short across here. And then I made one that was really long, and that one's not that one's in here. I haven't put it on anything because it's not going to work. I think it's in here. Well, anyway, um, yeah, here it is. See, that's really long. That's a really long one compared to that one. And then this is one that you get with the all-in-one loom. Hello, what am I doing? <laughs> Here it is. So, you know, it's pretty pretty similar in the, the angle and the point. And now he's going to want O-U-T because he's done going eating his food. I was going to say P-O-T-D-Y, but no, that's not it. Anyway, I've just been playing with that a little bit. Um... Here and there, not a lot. Um, let's see, I joined Pam Loomer's Rake Club. It's the Random Acts of Kindness Club. And I um, was going to randomly pick someone out of a hat. And she sent out a spreadsheet. And I went down through and I numbered each person uh, down the side of the spreadsheet. And um, there are 44 people in the group. And instead of putting numbers in a hat, I went to a random number generator online. And I had it generate a number. Came up with number 17. So I scrolled down through to number 17 and guess who it was? Me. So I guess that means I'm supposed to buy myself something. Or give myself something. Um, so anyway, I'm going to, you know, do it again and see what number I come up with and send something off to that person. Because you do, you do random things for people. Send them something. Um, yarn. Whatever. I might try and send somebody some pics and see if they like them. Anyway, my dog is looking for attention. I've talked almost 10 minutes for the heck of it. And uh, I guess I'm going to go and see if he needs to go potty. You want to go outside? That was a weak yes. All right. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. This is the the blue that I was telling you was 
up there in the yarn holder. And this is the one I got in the mail today. And I wish I would have looked at seen how much, how many yards, because it's obviously only going to make one sock. But I love it. It's called Vegas Lights, I believe. Can't read it right now. My eyes are too dark, too bad. But, you know, I got to get wool free. So, but I love it, love it, love it. Can't wait to make that one up. Going to start that one instead of the brown or the blue tonight. All right, that's it. Talk to y'all later.